All right, how's it going out there, folks? Welcome back here to a uh, Tuesday night, April 15th, 2025, about 7.01 p.m. California time here. Latest activity shows, uh, well, another large earthquake out here. We've been seeing quite a few of these in the last couple weeks with a 6.6 .6 earthquake striking uh, in a uh, very odd location here, well south of uh, southwest of Australia. I can't recall the last time I've seen an earthquake of that size out there. 6.6 .6 earthquake. That uh, is a, a decent size earthquake out there for sure. Uh, let's see what we got. Southeast Indian Ridge. It has been reviewed by a seismologist. And according to historical data, uh, it appears as though it uh, is somewhat active in that zone. Uh, according to uh, historical data out here since about 1900. But... Uh, in recent terms here, I'd like I say, I don't, I don't recall the last time I've seen something way down there of that magnitude. Here in the last 30 days, a uh, handful of earthquakes in the 5 range. But, uh, man, with everything else going on around the planet here, got uh, the plates in motion for sure. So that's that 6.6 .6 earthquake. This area is probably going to be um, a strike slip boundary. Maybe a fracture zone right here, but this this kind of looks like a spreading seafloor center. There's a different, couple different uh, types of um, fractures there in the oceanic crust, but this looks to be a uh, strike slip boundary. Either way, a decent earthquake, that's for sure. Uh, more than likely, no tsunami associated with that. They don't, uh, I don't think they get much bigger than that down there across that area of the uh, oceanic crust. But we'll double check that here real quick, see what we got. No tsunami warning advisory watch or threat is in effect from that earthquake. Let's go ahead and check uh, Southern California out real quick. See if we got any elevated activity ramping up here. Still seeing some earthquake activity, that's for sure. The latest one, uh, one pointer out around the Julian area in Southern California where a 5.2 earthquake struck here yesterday. So total tally, uh, total tally of quakes in this area shows about 236 earthquakes. That's a considerable aftershock sequence out here for sure. Uh, the magnitudes haven't really noticed anything large out here. They've mostly been microquake activity. Um, let's see what we got for the largest aftershock sequence here real quick. That appears to be the four-pointer, about an hour and a half following the 5.2, and a couple threes in there, including one from today. Well, that's from yesterday. Looks like they're adding some of the quakes out there. Uh, but mostly uh, mostly twos and ones and smaller quakes out there in an overall uh, aftershock sequence, but it's quite elevated, that's for sure, uh, for a five-pointer. But we'll continue to keep an eye on that. Uh, some movement up north along the San Jacinto Fault Zone and also just off the southern branch of the San Andreas Fault. One really close to it right now as well. Looks to be a little 0.8. Aside from that, as uh, far as anything above 2.5, just that one earthquake there this morning around the Garlock Fault Shear Zone. Still a key indicator of the strain out here uh, that's uh, brushing up on that uh, shear zone. It's been a swarming area here for a little while. Uh, in fact, this area, let's see what we got in the last seven days. We've got about 70 earthquakes here in this sequence of uh, events alone. So still continuing to keep an eye there on Southern California. Out in Washington, a couple earthquakes out here it looks like. Um, out around the desert air area of Washington now. From what I hear, there's some type of hazardous waste storage facility out here. I don't know if it's going to show up. Maybe this is it. Uh, but that's what a uh, viewer had mentioned to me a while back when there was a earthquake swarm going on. Looks like uh, the swarming, well, the earthquake activity is starting to ramp up out here. Not quite a swarm yet, but we'll continue to watch that as uh, earthquake activity is kicking up in that area of Washington. Uh, the rest of the globe here, quite active. And the more recent 6.6 .6 right now, just uh, be on guard. A lot going on out here. We got uh, a big shuffle of the plates going on. And it is quite elevated, as uh, you know. I think most of you guys know. Check out the last 30 days of 4.5 and above. Uh, we can even just do the 30 days significant worldwide. We got 17 earthquakes there, including a couple sevens. That's 7.7 .7 in the Myanmar Burma region, the largest earthquake so far this year. 
But uh, when things are in motion like this, we've got to be on guard uh, because we could see some areas that have been locked up here for quite a while show some uh, extensive movement. Quick glance here at the space weather activity. Looks like we're looking at uh, a G3 class storm coming in. KP index up above six, but what's going on with the Aurora forecast? Um, so even though we got the KP index way up there, the Aurora forecast is non-existent. So let's go check out the solar wind. I have a feeling it's got to do um, Go back here to real time, real time solar wind stream should pop up here. Uh, solar wind, more than likely, it's the interplanetary magnetic field that's uh, going to be messing with the uh, auroras there. Let's see what we got real quick. We'll take a look at this. Oh yeah, that's that's major aurora suppression right there. So even we, even though we have a strong arrival of that plasma cloud that blasted off from the uh, filament eruption here a couple days ago hitting earth at a fairly decent speed fairly decent density as well the bz component bt bz bz component of the interplanetary magnetic field is north of this line here this darker line which completely squashes any chances there of the auroras had this been south wide open we'd be looking at some decent um, Aurora activity out there, but as you can see, we got a G3 class storm. But man, is it being suppressed out there? Normally, G3, we'd see this light up like crazy, and Aurora is visible across, you know, maybe even down into the uh, northern tier states. But right now, that is not the case. So we'll have to watch that uh, unless it changes here. Um, the Auroras will probably not be appearing out there. But uh, we'll just keep an eye on it. G3 class storm coming in right now. But again, uh, suppression of the auroras. As far as flaring activity goes, a couple different regions here on the eastern limb of the sun. Notice some bright features going on there from a, a number of sunspots. Looks like it could get active out here potentially in the days ahead. Looking at uh, the magnetogram image, not really all that impressed with this one. We might see a sea flare or two from this area. But there's a couple different regions out there on the far side, not quite visible yet, that may harbor uh, some flaring potential here a little bit later on towards the end of the week once they get into the Earth-directed view. As uh, far as any major storm uh, activity going on out there, not really impressed with the storms out here in Northern California today. It was pretty wimpy. Had a couple showers pop up there in the Sierra Nevada Mountains, but that's about it. Our next shot of severe weather looks to be day three here out across uh, eastern Nebraska. Uh, a couple other states out here. Uh, Iowa looks to be included. We'll check back on that as we get a little bit closer. Also, day four is starting to show uh, some severe potential out there. Uh, even day five, day six. Wow, three days, three or four days here of severe weather possibility uh, being issued from the uh, space weather or the storm prediction center. And even further down the line, the extended range severe weather is still showing what looks to be a very active pattern coming in here towards the end of April and beginning of May. Look at that. That's the supercell composite parameters showing uh, what could be severe weather outbreak as we get into those time frames. So we'll check back on that, of course, as we get, you know, a little bit closer down the road. But for now... 6.6 .6 earthquake southeast indian ridge stay safe out there be prepared folks uh, make sure you guys subscribe while you're here give us a like we definitely appreciate it that's uh one way to help us out 100 percent have a good night we'll see you guys back out here a little bit later